Good morning everyone and welcome. Today I'm hiking up Windsor Ridge to Stewart Lake. It's a little early in the season so I'm going to kind of try to see how much snow is around. I've already seen a couple of drifts near the trailhead so this should be interesting. Come on and join me. trail starts in Cowles, New Mexico, at the same parking lot as the Cowles Ponds. From there it switchbacks up Windsor Ridge until it passes many meadows and aspen stands and eventually ends up at the Skyline Trail and Stewart Lake. There's a whole herd of deer up there. I don't know if you can see them. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine does and fawns. Pretty cool though. And I also saw, geez, I think about 10 deer on the way up here along the road too. So it's a, it's a beautiful morning so far. There were some behind the trees there that popped out. There's actually 14 of them total. The date is uh, April 28th, 2020. This is uh, my first trip actually, since canceling my AT through hike. And uh, I just wanted to give you a little background about what I'm doing. And uh, what I've decided to do is uh, do kind of a documentary on the Pecos Wilderness, uh, basically a, a virtual trail guide. I'm going to write a trail guide book that goes along with it. Even though I had to cancel the trip of a lifetime, um, I'm, I'm going to make the best of it. So I'm looking forward to this and I'm looking forward to seeing almost every mile of trail in the Pecos Wilderness this summer. As I'm stopped here in the shade, I just want to let you know it's surprisingly warm today. It's supposed to get to 80 in Santa Fe. So uh, up here on this south aspect of uh, Windsor Ridge, it's, it's pretty warm. Um, but there is supposed to be a low pressure system coming through tonight and there's a chance of showers. So uh, that should make things interesting. Also, I want to point out that uh, the trail conditions are dry and perfect right now, but further up the trail I expect there to be uh, plenty of snow drifts, um, especially towards Stewart Lake. I don't know if you can see these guys. They're a pretty long ways up the hill there. I might be able to zoom in on them when I edit this, hopefully. About four more. That makes 18 plus 10 that I saw in the morning. And I swear, I maybe hiked a mile, <laughs> two miles maybe. I don't know really. Not very far. There's a flicker. All right, here is the next little scenic spot along the trail, besides some views. This is a little grassy glade. And the great thing about this place, 
it's probably one of the only places in the Pecos wilderness that you can find oak firewood. That is a rarity to have such high quality wood in these parts to burn. But by the way, there is a fire ban in the wilderness right now due to COVID. They don't want to waste emergency responders on fires. So no fires. At the far side of that first heavy aspen grove, there is a spring about, I don't know, 40 to 50 yards down the trail, right down there. You can see the water flowing. That's the first available water on the trail. There's a grouse on the trail up ahead. Let me zoom in. Do you guys see it? I'm catching up slowly. It's running. There's a lot of grouse up here. I always see grouse on this ridge. I'm just following the grouse today. There he goes. He finally figured it out. My first little patch of snow here. I believe I'm about 9,500 feet or so. All right, folks, it's around noon now. And just before I took my lunchtime snack break, um, I passed a group of three young guys that were camped at Stewart Lake last night and they said it's still covered in snow there even part of the lake is frozen it sounds like so i'm gonna have to make a decision on whether or not to camp in this aspen stand that's right before the lake or um, camp at the lake and just camp around the snow all right right here i believe i'm about four miles in and uh, there's a little horse trail leading off the side of the main trail that heads up into this big grassy glade where there's some beautiful views of the mountains and there's even a place to camp or two. Okay, I'm at another large glade just through the trees and up the hill from me. And this is the first place that I've had to actually walk through any snow. Other snow patches I've just walked around. Here is a better look at that huge glade. And uh, 
let's face it, this is a perfect place to see deer and elk. Here's another spring. We're about four and a half miles in. And it looks like it's coming out of the ground just about, I don't know, 20, 20 meters or so uphill from the trail. Alright, the snow is really, really soft and I'm starting to post hole through some of these deeper drifts. Alright everybody, I had to make a decision. Should I keep going to the lake and make camp there? Or should I stop here because this is the last flat aspen stand um, before we get to the lake. The lake's still about a mile away that way. So I'm going to decide to camp here where I can camp on dry soil and uh, stay a little warmer tonight. I think my body will thank me tomorrow for doing this. So uh, here I go. I'm going to set up the tent now. is set up. Another muddy spring crossing. This looks like a fresh spring right here. Coming from the mountain. Okay, I've entered a stand of Engelmann spruce and I'm at the top of the hill. There's only a little downhill stretch until I meet the skyline trail. Okay, I've made it to the skyline trail and this is a lovely place for a trail junction. There's a meadow off to my right and then this is the skyline trail. I see going that way and I do see a few footprints going that way and that's the way I'm going to Stewart Lake all right folks I've made it to a pond in a big meadow about a quarter mile before Stewart Lake well, there used to be a campsite here next to the pond, but my guess is that it's too close to the pond and the Forest Service has taken apart the fire ring because it looks to me like it's less than 50 feet from the water there. All right, a fresh brand new trail bridge. Looks awesome. We're only a short ways from uh, the lake now. Let's go. If I remember right, I can't see them now because of the snow, but there are some campsites in this flat. And this flat is just across a little kind of hill thing from the meadow where the pond is. And it's not too far from water.
Better get to it. camp. Okay, tonight I'm kind of making a wilderness shepherd's pie <laughs> or a backpacker shepherd's pie. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is I put a bunch of jerky in this pot of boiling water and I'm going to boil it for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to add some Idaho and mashed potatoes and once those are done cooking I'll add some cheese for the top and that's it doesn't get any simpler than that and uh, should be pretty good well, all right it's done and I'm ready to eat I'm hungry and uh, here's the finished product let me Give you a little look at that. Not, not too bad, it just looks like mashed potatoes with meat and cheese. So, uh, bon appetit. I've already tasted it, it's pretty good. One of the better backpacking meals that I've come up with. So, uh, I guess have a good evening and I'll see you after my meal. Today I did a PCT style bear bag hang on a leaning tree. Good morning everybody. It's now day two and I'm gonna be packing up and heading down the trail back to the trailhead. I've already had breakfast and coffee and I'm ready to get going. So let's hit it. that's it camps packed up and nobody's ever gonna know that I was here 
Now I'm back on the trail. There's another grouse. Told you there's a lot of them around here. They're just sitting there. She thinks I don't see her or something. She's getting a drink of water. <laughs> I take a step, she takes a step. So funny. Oh well. I better quit dawdling here and keep going back down to the trailhead. Okay, now I'm back to Cowell's Ponds. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.